Tēnā koutou katoa. All New Zealanders need safe, reliable drinking water, wastewater and stormwater services. We depend on these for health and well-being of our communities and our environment. For the last two decades, central and local government have discussed the challenges facing councils in continuing to deliver these services. Without action, the situation is only going to get worse. Following extensive analysis, it has become clear that New Zealand's three waters system is facing a significant crisis and will continue to do so without transformational reform. Latest estimates show that investment needed to replace, maintain and upgrade existing pipes and plants across New Zealand is up to $5 billion per year over the next 30 to 40 years. For many councils and their ratepayers, these challenges are here right now. Others will have to confront them in the near future. Catching up on this alone without reform will be beyond the ability of most councils and communities. We need to work together and use our shared expertise to tackle these challenges so that our communities can afford these critical services into the future. Doing nothing would be irresponsible and reckless, given the overwhelming evidence of systemic and widespread problems. That is why the government has taken decisions to progress the reforms by creating four publicly owned water service entities. For these to be successful, we need all councils to participate. Our decision puts the collective interests of all New Zealanders first to ensure all communities can access the benefits of these reforms. We're making these changes in a way that ensures our water networks continue to belong to the communities they serve. Our plan is for these professional entities to start in three years' time. We will continue to work with local government, iwi and industry to refine the finer details over the coming months and years. We want to ensure they achieve the best outcomes for all New Zealanders. These new arrangements will help build a highly skilled, innovative, professional workforce to deliver the right services for our communities. We know that this work must remain local. You can't lay a pipe in the regions from a desk in the city. The reforms will create six to 9,000 jobs and increase economic activity in our rural regions. These are complex challenges, but we can no longer afford to ignore them. Together, through the reforms, we can have safe, clean and affordable water for everyone in New Zealand, no matter where they live. <laughs>